All right, we got some very special guests in our uh, studio today uh, with a big charity event that Pro-FM is a part of tomorrow called the American Veteran Music Festival that's happening in Bristol. It starts at 3, goes till 9. And one of the special bands that are playing there, joining me live in studio right now, and this is Out of the Blue, correct? Yes. yes. Well, welcome to Pro-FM. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. Uh, let's go quickly around and introduce yourselves as uh, these six band members are getting ready for tomorrow. So we'll start right over here. Hi. Hi, I'm Ella Ganyan. I play keyboard. Okay. I'm Lindsay Arruda. I'm the singer. Okay. I'm Adam, and I'm the drummer. <laughs> Jacob Haru, and I play guitar. I'm Thomas Harrington, and I'm the lead guitarist. I'm Nick Aspen, and I play bass. All right, guys. Well, we're glad you're here at Pro-FM today. We're going to talk a little bit about the event tomorrow. But give me a little background how all you guys got together. Anyone can chime in, and if you want to give me a little bit of the backstory. I'll do it. Okay. I'm Jimmy. I'm the uh, instructor. Um, we that's we're uh, from the music school, Ray Mullen Music School, and they're all hand kind of hand selected. I picked each one based on their ability. There are really good musicians, really good students, and I just kind of hand selected them. They've been playing together since about January, and that's how they came together. What type of uh, music do you guys uh, practice when you uh, get into the studios? We mostly do um, rock and roll covers from like the '80s and stuff. Not too many modern songs. We do a few pop songs, such as Photograph by Ed Sheeran and stuff. Mm -hmm. But mostly it's 80s rock and roll. Why do you pick the 80s? I'm curious. Uh, I guess I'll answer that. As an instructor, um, the 80s stuff is very challenging. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the new stuff isn't as challenging now. Uh, it's very quality, but the, the older 80s stuff is a lot for a musician, like a student learning. It's a lot more challenging to work on musically. Well, I only say that because that's my generation of music. My so too. I was, I was <laughs> curious on how that all came about. So, how did you guys get involved with this charity tomorrow, the American Veteran Music Festival? I'll answer that again. Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, Mark Reinhard, who's one of the organizers, um, a good friend of mine. He knows what we do at Ray Mullen. Um, you know, his son take, you know, took lessons from me for a while. And uh, he's seen these guys play uh, a few times, and he just thought they should be involved. And he came to me and asked me, and I said, of course anything for veterans and of course we want to get them playing but the most important thing is honoring the veterans and I thought it was a great cause. Mm -hmm. And you guys are definitely proud to be a part of it, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. So what can we uh, look forward to tomorrow with you guys? Uh, I know you're going to play some 80s. Can you give us uh, a little glimpse of maybe what time you're going on and because uh, we definitely if we you know when we air this interview uh, people are going to want to know more about you and what time they can see you. So we're actually the opening act where we go on at 3 o'clock and we should be playing from 3 till 4. And the way our set list goes is we start out with 80s, mm -hmm. then in the middle we tend to get towards the more modern pop stuff to slow it down, mm -hmm. and then we end with 80s. Oh. So it's a nice blend of music, I think. That's yes. good. Do you guys like this kind of music? Yourself? You do? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it gives them a chance to shine on their on their instruments because there's a lot of solos and instrumental parts and stuff like that. Yeah, well, we, you know, the '80s were really a time where the the, the rock music and uh, you know bands were all you know they actually needed a band to play on stage. Now DJs just hit play. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that taking away anything from their talents behind the scenes in the studios on computers. It's just a different way. So. You guys are going to be out there. We look forward to seeing you. And uh, the American Music Festival takes place in Bristol, Mount Hope Farm, and uh, 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and we can help the veterans and the uh, veterans' home in Bristol, too. So uh, out of the blue, thank you for coming to Pro-FM today, and uh, we'll catch you at the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.